Okay, this is Night Spire with episode two of the fabulous Brogue. All right, we're going to continue on depth number four, and we are exploring. Look at that. We got a lava lake over here. Oh, that was a scroll. We should go back and collect that. The toad, I believe, was asleep, so it's not going to follow us. So we're too full. All right, we're going to go ahead and... Oh, let's see what we're going to use here. Okay, look. Um, I don't really want to use any of these potions. Well, this type of blinking, I suppose we could use. All right, fine. We'll apply this scroll of enchantment, staff of blinking to do another one. So now we have two scrolls of that. Okay, so we're going to continue to explore. Let's do this quickly. It's supposed to levitation. Um, okay. Not really important to get that. But let's make room again. Um, well, what the hell? Why not? We'll just drink this one. So that's telepathy. Okay, we got it. So we're going to... The thing about this turtle is if it hits you, it makes you hallucinate. So before I hallucinate, I'm going to look at these monsters here to see exactly what they are. So we got a kobold here because the telepathy potion, what that does is it reveals all of the monsters on the screen. So here's a kobold easy. Bloat, those explode with the caustic gas. A gnome is a little bit of a challenge, especially in numbers at this level. Turtles are, you know, like I said, they're going to make you hallucinate. And when you hallucinate, you can't tell what what objects are, are what and what creatures are what. Rat, gnome, and then a, a, a toad. Yeah, this looks like a very, very easy level. So, uh, yeah, I don't have to worry about this level at all. In depth number four, so it's going to be a breeze. There's nothing specifically dangerous here, so it doesn't matter that we're hallucinating. So we're going to go ahead and explore. Okay, explore, 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 auto-explore. Well, let's go back over there and get that. I hate doing that. I hate retracing my steps because with food, you want to make sure that each movement is efficient. You don't want to keep um, going back on yourself. All right? And, um, yeah, I think we're going to have to uh, use one of these Scrolls of Enchanting, but I don't want to use that yet because I want to get an equipment. So we'll just we'll just use one of these random scrolls. Okay, this one's got two of them. All right, with Scroll Shattering. Okay, so we've got more inventory space. Weak with Hunger. So that's what I'm talking about with Hunger. So I'm using one of my rations of food, which means I've got one left. And I definitely want to find more food before I get hungry again. All right, so we can go ahead and explore. Okay. I'm going to hit the gnome. The bloat is going to attack us. And that should also kill the goblins. So we're going to go up and escape out of the caustic gas. That should also kill the kobold. But we're a bit damaged now, which means we're going to have to find a nice health tree at some point. So we, we're kind of blocked in right now, so we have to wait for this caustic gas to clear. Because if we just go charging into that purple area, it's going to eat away at our health. So, we just, so it takes a little bit of time for us to, to wait for that area to clear. Okay, now we're going to go into the next section. So it looks like this goblin is wandering towards us. If I said they were gnomes before, they are actually goblins. So they're wandering towards us. Now, if, if we stay still, it's possible that he doesn't find us. And he'll just keep wandering up, which we are doing. And so here's another, another goblin. Oh, gosh, look at all these goblins now. So we're retre retreating. Now they're not going to fall. The, the goblins aren't going to follow us into the um, corridor because they're a bit more intelligent than the, the, the turtles and the other ones. So they're just going to group up right outside of the narrow corridor. And so what we're going to do is we're going to throw one of our dangerous potions at them. And we have to be very careful with how we throw it because if we don't want it to um, hit us. So we're going to go ahead and go throw. And 
let's see here. Why is it doing this? Okay, we're going to aim right for that and then go boom. So that was a potion of hallucination, so that doesn't do much. So we're going to throw another one. Let's try this one. We'll throw this one. There we go. There we go. We got another caustic gas. Now that will make the goblins go into the corridor. So we're going to just search and we'll just wait for the goblins to come out. There we go. But the problem is, is that they are kind of tough. But we got them. So we got our health is half. So we definitely want to wait for that caustic gas to go down. We don't want to get more damage. Okay. So that's how handy it can be to have these bad potions and how you use them to get these guys. All right. And if they are not aware of you, you can give these like sneak attacks and basically take them out. Like if almost the same as if they're sleeping. Like this guy's sleeping. If he doesn't wake up, I could kill him in one hit, but he woke up. So he's, he's going to attack me and then hallucinating again. Hallucinating is a bit annoying. Ah, here we go. Good. We have health. These are health trees. They're called blood wart pods. And if you just run into them, they will create a cloud of healing vapor, which is going to go ahead and heal you. Okay. So that's that. So let's go ahead and finish exploring. What else we got in here? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Uh, finally, we have a weapon, but the broadsword is a heavy weapon that requires a lot more strength than we do. We only have 14 strength, and we don't know even yet if it's cursed. Now, if we use the potion of detect magic, that will tell us in advance if it's cursed or if it's enchanted or if there's no enchantment or curse on it whatsoever. But if you look on it, if I click on it, it tells you that there's a 12 and a half penalty because of inadequate strength. So this is not helpful for me to use. I could equip it right now, but my accuracy would go down a lot, too much, and you don't want to be missing your swings in this game because you may be missing and then they're going to be hitting you. Okay, so we'll go ahead and continue. Again, we're trying to do a speed run here. Oops. Get back over here. Explore. Okay, black potion. All right, let's go to inventory. Clear up some space again. Uh, we don't want to use any of those. All right. Now, I hate using these scrolls because I don't want the protect weapon to be enchanted on my dagger. But the broadsword is too heavy. It's not going to be useful. All right, fine. We're just going to have to hope for the best. What is this? protect weapon that's the one <laughs> it's the one scroll i didn't want damn it <laughs> i wanted to find a better weapon before i had the protect weapon all right never mind though all right so the thing about these scrolls is sometimes they can be so scarce scarce but fortunately there's only a couple of creatures that degrade your um, armor and weapon all right, so look at this. We got guard guardians. So this guy has a door key, but unfortunately he's immune to my attacks, and he has a hundred percent chance to hit me. He can hit me in three hits. He's immune to everything. And he's animated purely by magic. Now, if we have, oh crap, if we have a scroll in our inventory that is an anti-magic scroll then that would totally destroy him. So we can try that. Let's see. Let's open up some of these scrolls. Um, okay, protected. I covered it. In these are the two scrolls I didn't want to open, and they were the first two that actually opened. So anyway, um, good news is our, our weak armor and our weak weapon is protected from acid, but I wanted to use that on better weapon and better armor. All right, let's go to the next one. Apply. Sanctuary. So what this does is if you are being chased by monsters, it creates these glyphs around you that you can't be attacked by monsters. It was this one. Apply. Scroll teleportation. Okay. 
Well, that would have been useful if we were actually in danger. So we're going to go back over here. So we'll kill this gnome first, okay. We're going to go back over here and hope that we have a, a scroll of, of anti-magic. What is this? A flood trap, okay. So we're going to... Is there a scroll of anti-magic? Let's see. It's a scroll with a map on it. You see, we want to get in here because they have some nice items, hopefully. So let's see, do we have a, this is a scroll of anti-magic? No, that removes curse. Oops. What about this one here? Scroll of recharging. So we don't have any scroll that can destroy this guardian. Because like I said, you can't kill it with a weapon, you can't kill it with fire, and it never sleeps, but it's animated purely by magic. So anything anti-magic will destroy it, but we don't have the capability to, to do that. So, we also have this black potion. I'm kind of curious what the black potion does. What the hell, we'll try that. Potion of darkness, okay, that's not fun. All right, so we're gonna go to the next one, depth number five. So we're darkened now, which means our view radius is very reduced. So we're walking almost blind, which is not fun. Okay, now if we have a potion of health, that would uh, take away this, but it's temporary. As soon as this red goes down, we can, um, we can see again. All right, here we go. So we're just gonna explore. See how we can hardly see. Now this gnome, we got rid of that, good. Right, we're trying to get rid of the goblin. There we go, and now we're getting rid of the totem. What these totems do is they can haste goblins and they can shoot out sparks. Okay. Okay, cloud of caustic, caustic gas. We went on a trap. So we're going to escape out of there. Let's see over here. We're going to explore. A pit blow. That When this explodes, it basically makes you fall down level, which means I'll be on depth number six. So we're going to try to escape out of that. All right. We don't want to go down. Now, if we had or using a potion of levitation, then we wouldn't fall. So actually, I could drink this potion of levitation right now and then kill the pit bloat, but I'm not doing that because sometimes on these levels, you have keys across open chasms, open pits, and the potion of levitation could actually help me get into a treasure room. So I want to save the potion of levitation. In fact, I would rather fall to depth number six than to use it right now. Because I, I don't really feel too threatened by these low levels right now. So Now these jellies though, they can be quite dangerous. Um, let's see, what can we do against this? So I'm gonna use a dart and Throw it with the jelly. Now we're just gonna. Now it splits up the jelly. If you notice, it's now behind me as well. So when it splits, I then hit behind me until they're all gone and then attack forward. But it looks like there's another jelly coming. Uh oh. This is not good. Shoot. This might be an early end of the walkthrough. I normally don't die on depth number six, but we had an ad, an unfortunate ad of another monster over here so that we might actually be dead here. Um, damn it. All right. Um, chanting, levitation. Invisibility. Invisibility is not going to help us in this situation, really, because... <clears throat> oh, let's see what we have here. 
And the health of this guy is small. The health of this guy is big. Okay, this health is more big as well. Mm-hmm. Shoot. All right. Um, we may just have to re re rerun. La 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 la. Shit, shit, shit. Pardon my French. Okay, we might be toast. Ah. Could enchant our armor. That makes it a little bit harder to hit, but. No, I think we're just gonna die here. I think we're just gonna die. Because we have ads from the north, which doesn't normally happen in this game. Normally not threaten so much on top number six. <gasps> oh no. See, blinking we can't use because it, if, you're, if you're blocked in, it, it, it doesn't work. It only works if you have a free space. Like if you click on it, it says here, enables you to travel, teleport up to, to 10 spaces, but creatures and inanimate obstructions will block the teleportation. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. No, 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 no. I hate dying. I really do. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. So sorry. We're gonna die. Punch? I'm punching? What, why am I not equipped? Oh my god. Alright, defeated. Alright. Screw this. Alright, well.